Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we are unboxing Colt Express, the 10th anniversary edition. Now Colt Express, of course, is a modern classic. Uh, I remember when this came, game came out, I had, let's see, did 10 years ago, I got all these, the Spiltus Yara stuff, all these awards in 2015, so it came out probably 2014. Actually, let's see what BGG has to say about that. Yeah, 2014. So I've only been in the hobby for about a year and a half at this point. Never have played it, so I'm very excited to get my hands on this version of it. Uh, let's see, we've got... Uh, where is it? Ah, here we go. We've got uh, for about 40 minutes, two to six players, ages 10 plus. Now, according to the uh, Board Game Geek users, it says that it recommends it at three to six players, so don't really recommend it at two players, but it also says it's best at five to six players. It goes on to say that ages eight and up are good for this game. So let's jump right into it and see what comes in Cold Express 10th Anniversary Edition. All right, so here we go. We've got the rule book here. And the rule book, interestingly enough, does not specify 10th anniversary, so I wonder if that means it's essentially the same thing with no real adjustments. All right, so obviously the game starts page four. This is probably where phase one, yeah, this is where the really rules start. Obviously page three and two were set up. But here we go. So then we've got phase two and end of game. Oh, wow, so look. Basically two pages of rules, and you've got the whole game right there. Uh, then it goes into uh, action cards, so I'm guessing this goes into specifically how they work. And character powers, events, special rules, two bandits per player. Interesting. These rules allow for two or three players to play using two bandits each. Okay, cool. All right, and there. so those are the rules. Uh, this is, looks like, instructions on how to assemble the train. Okay, and then we've got the punch outs for the train, and of course the game like this where you're building a structure like that, you're going to want it to punch cleanly, looks like it is. Uh, let's try this one as well, just punch right out, yep, okay. Okay, alright, and a number of punch boards here, quite a few punch boards. There we go. And let's see. Oh, let's get the rules just so I can name these components for you. So I'm just saying, I don't know what this is. So let's see. So these are the character sheets, it looks like. So we've got Bell. Do these stand up or anything? Or nope, just... Oh, but there is a difference. You have these three here and two here, so probably a player count thing. You got Bell, Cheyenne, Tuco, Django, Doc, Ghost. All right, so six total. Here we've got the Meeples. Looks like... They're all the same meeple, just different colors. Okay, but nice wooden meeples there. Very nice. And then we've got, what is this? Oh, this is just, this popped out. That's a divider there, okay. And then you got some cards here. All right, let's see what we got. We got, these are all Oh, wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. These are the action cards. Every player gets 10. That feels like more than 10. Hold on. And... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, and the bullet cards. Bullet cards. All right, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you've got 6 bullet cards. Okay. And you got that for every player color all right and then looks like more of the same here for the other characters and then 
These must be the neutral. 13 neutral bullet cards and some other stuff here as well. Not sure exactly what's going on there, but of course we'll figure it out with the rules. And then this, I think, is for the train. So you know what? Give me a second. Let me uh, build this train up, and then I will show you how it fits in the box here. All right, and there you go. We've got the uh, engine here, and then six train cars there. I, uh, for now, I've just tossed these pieces in here and the terrain pieces there. I think the terrain is just for looks, as far as I know. Anyway, that's how it fits in the box. Very nice and straightforward and then i'm guessing we'll just toss this in on top toss that right there and there we go so thank you so much for watching this unboxing be sure to come back as we will be doing an instructional video for this we've got other great videos coming out uh how to play dungeon universalis part four how to play Kingdom Death Monsters Gambler's Chess Expansion Part 4. All of that coming out very soon. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.